Hi, welcome to Physical Science. This is Lesson 2.3b on the Impulse Momentum Relationship. Um, there's a sports science video attached to um, my YouTube channel. So here's an example of what you're going to be doing in class. You have 100 Newton force is applied to a 5 kilogram mass for 1.5 seconds. The mass starts from rest. From that information, you will be able to find the impulse J is equal to F times T, 100 times 1.5 is 150 Newton seconds. The change in momentum is also equal to the impulse, which is 150 kilogram meters per second. The initial momentum, because it started from rest, is zero kilogram meters per second. The final momentum, because um, the change in momentum minus the initial momentum, would be 150 kilogram meters per second. And you can actually determine the final velocity of this because velocity is momentum divided by mass or 150 divided by five to be 30 meters per second. Lots of information can be found from just one short problem. You're gonna be using a simulation today called Force of Motion Basics. And in that simulation, it's got th four different modes, so you'll be able to play with those and see what they do. But then in each mode, you're going to be using information that is set as a parameter, <clears throat> using the simulation to find new information, and then calculating using your equations. So for example, in that given problem, you were given a net force of 207 newtons. Notice you have an applied force of 500 newtons and a frictional force of 293. You're also given that the velocity changed by 10.2 meters per second. The acceleration was 1.38 meters per second per second. From that, you could find the mass, the amount of time that the force was applied, the impulse, and the change in momentum in two ways. Finding the mass from 1.3 we found mass to be force divided by acceleration, or 207 divided by 1.38, to get a mass of 150 kilograms. We can find the time <clears throat> that this was applied from 1.2. Time is a change in velocity divided by acceleration of 10.2 divided by 1.38, or 7.39 seconds. From that, we can find the impulse of force times time, 207 times 7.39, to be 1,529.73 newton seconds. We can then realize that the impulse is equal to a change in momentum and get our change in momentum to be 1,529.73 kilogram meters per second, but also realize we can find the change in momentum by taking the mass times the change in velocity of 150 times 10.2 meters per second to get 1,530 kilogram meters per second. Not too bad for using a simulation. Thanks for watching.